Hey everybody, I'm Michaela Chester for NCAA Digital. I am joined by Emerson Hancock, a pitcher from the University of Georgia. And Emerson, how are you doing with all of this going on? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm at home right now, kind of enjoying that time with my family. Um, I'm staying in shape, I'm working out, I'm throwing, and really just trying to find things I can do with my parents, whether that's being out in the yard, walk around the neighborhood with them, just, but we're doing good. Tell me something that was positive that's come out of this situation for you or somebody that you know. I think a lot of the people, or especially for me, is that time that you get with your parents and the time you get with my brother. You know, when we're playing every weekend, you only get to see him maybe a couple hours out of the weekend when the games are over. But now we got more time we know what to do with. But it's it's fun. I mean, you get to spend time with the people that you love, and that's a definite positive for me. Speaking of that, I'm sure you have a lot of time on your hands. You basically at baseball all the time. So what what are some of the things that you're doing to fill this time? Give me some activities you're doing every day. You know, when I got home, the first thing I did was go to the golf course. You know, I love to play golf. It was kind of a thing that originated last summer. Um, played a couple rounds. Great thing for me and my brother to go do. You know, we're, we're staying six feet apart, though. We're, we're buying all the guidelines, but definitely playing golf. It's really fun. And what, let's go back to Georgia. Give me some of your absolute favorite memories, your fondest times with your team and at Georgia Baseball. Yeah, I think for me, I always love the SEC tournament. I love the environment. I love being able to you know, be at the nice hotel, have the mall, and just that time you get to spend with each other. The regionals have always been a highlight for us um, to see the environment, the fans. We love that energy, that passion. But I mean, the highlight for me is the team, the teammates, you know, all the guys in the locker room, the, the past players that we've had and the time we spent with them. Yeah, that's something that'll last forever. Building off of that, let's get something. What's something a little more unique to your teammates, something that's not a big moment, wasn't winning the games, not the SEC tournament, but something that you didn't expect to miss. It could be something funny with your teammates, anything. For me, I, I love you know, I've had the same two roommates for the past three years and Ryan and Chaney. And, you know, when you when we get home at night and they get on the PlayStation and I'm watching TV, just that moment of just talking and just chatting about the team, about anything. That's something that I definitely miss is, is being around those two. We spent a lot of time together and certainly miss them. And Ryan and Chaney probably have some big personalities. Got any examples of some funny stuff they throw your way? I mean, they'll give you some golden opportunities when they're playing PlayStation, the things that they say, the things that they do. But it's so funny, the, the difference in the personalities in both of them. But I think that's what's made us great roommates over the years. And, um, you know, we, we've texted back and forth a little bit. They're enjoying their, their family and their friends. But I miss those guys a lot. Yeah. What What is the dynamic between you three? Like, you probably have more of a calmer personality compared to Ryan and Cheney. Yeah, I mean, I think first coming in, the thing that I noticed about Ryan is, you know, he loves to talk, and he's going to admit that to you. He loves to be the center of attention, loves to talk. Chaney's more laid back. He likes to just hang out, likes to do his own thing. And then for me, I just try to find whatever each one's doing and just stick with them. And, but I think that's what makes us work. You know, we, Ryan gives us a lot of some funny moments in the house, but Chaney's also got that side to him. But it's a really good mix. And what is one of the things you're looking forward to the most when not only baseball comes back, but just when normalcy returns? I think just getting back and seeing everybody. You know, I think it took us such for a shock as all the time that we were together, we're together, we're together. And now everyone's back home doing their own thing. And I think that was very tough for a lot of the guys, and especially when you see people and live with them every day, the time that we spend. And I mean, yeah, I'm just ready to get back and see everybody just have that normal day-to-day -day operations with everybody. Yeah, and I know you may not know yet, but any hints on what's coming next for you? I do not. I, I do not Right now, you know, Mikhail, I'm just trying to take every day that I have here with my family, enjoy that time, just see some, some loved ones that you don't get to see a lot, spend some time with them, and really just cherish every day. What's one of the biggest messages of encouragement or hope that you've received or sent to somebody else? Yeah, so every Sunday, you know, with the churches being closed, you know, church offices have the ability to stream it online. And I, I tune in on Facebook every Sunday, and the pastor was talking about planting seeds. And you can, what, what you plan is what's going to grow. You know, that's going to be the fruits of your labor. 
And he said, you can either choose to plant fear, you can choose to plant disappointment, depression, whatever you is going through this time. But if you choose to plant joy and happiness and serving and serving others, you know, that's something that can definitely be a positive light to the darkness that we're going through right now. That's great. And Emerson, lastly, who would you like to hear from next? Here's the challenge. It can't be a current teammate or a current coach. Give me two to three names. Anyone else is fair game. All right, so the two names that I was thought of is just kind of guys that I like to watch around the league. I think they're great pitchers, incredible pitchers, and obviously they're leaders on their team. And, you know, I wanted to meet them this summer with Team USA, but just couldn't, it just couldn't happen. So I want to hear from Asa Lacey and Reed Detmers. All right, awesome. We'll try to make it happen. Thank you, Emerson, for joining me, and stay safe and healthy. You too, Mikhail. Thank you.